creating functions in MATLAB. You have already worked with some of the built-in functions in MATLAB, but when it comes to specific tasks that you require, you may have to create your own functions. Previously, we looked at scripts. Remember that scripts are a set of commands that can be saved and enacted by running the script. Functions are similar in that they can be run in the command window, except that functions take inputs to run and give an output. They can take a single input and give a single output, or take many inputs and give many outputs. To create a function, you can go to File, New, Function, or you can work in the command window using the edit, type by typing in edit, followed by function, your function name. In this case, we are going to create a function that takes the square root of a number. So we'll call this function my square root. Enter. The editor should a, a pop up a window that asks if you want to create an M file with the name my square root. Yes. And the current folder, an M file should have appeared and a window should have opened entitled my square root. Notice that it's an M file, not a dot mat file. Functions and scripts are saved within M files while dot mat files save variables and their values. All functions begin the same way with the word function followed by the output of the function equal to the function name open parentheses input. All functions begin this way, this same line. In our case of the my square root, we will have an output y which is equal to the function name my square root and an input x. Now the function name and the name of the file in which the function is held must be exact. If not, the function will not run correctly. After you begin your function, it is necessary to include comments that tell what the function does. Comments are just non-coding text that can be created by inserting a percent sign. Any text following the percent sign will be non-coding and appear green. I don't, so you can tell what you can tell the user what this function does. Function. So this function takes the square root of the input x and gives it as an output y. It is necessary to make comments throughout your function so that the user, the outside user, can understand how the function works, why it is running a certain way, um, and the commands that are being performed within the function. So now we write the coding portion of the function. So we're taking the square root of x, so y, which is our output, is equal to the square root x raised to the one half. If you have complicated code or code that may not be understood immediately, you would want to comment about it. But in this case, it's pretty self-explanatory. After you write all the function, all the code within your function, you should end your function with the term end. Make sure to save periodically um, so as not to lose your work. Once your function is created, you can call upon it in the command window by typing in the function name, open parentheses, and your input. MATLAB will always show this small bubble here that uh, reminds you how many inputs are required to run the function. In this case, we only have one input x, so we insert one number to take the square root of, and we get an answer of 3. If you look in your workspace, we have a new variable, ANS, that is the answer to the square root function. As you may notice, though, the square root function did not create a variable y. This is one of the big differences between scripts and functions. A script will assign um, variables, values to variables, if they are included within the script. 
a function will not. In order to save the answer uh, that your function outputs, you must assign that answer, that value, to a different variable. So if we assign it to a variable v is equal to answer, then v becomes 3. That way, when we re if we run our function again using a different input, we get a different output. Our answer value changes. Our ANS variable, the value of the ANS variable changes, but the value of v doesn't. This is one way you can save the different answers to your function. Now that's just some basics of the function. Don't pay too much attention about how the function works, just the structure of the function and how to utilize the function. As you may have noticed, we did get a, an error when we tried to execute y, um, an undefined function or variable. Um, you may have come across errors while creating your own functions or utilizing different functions in MATLAB. Uh, errors can occur for many different reasons, um, a few of which we will go over right now. So if we take the, the built-in square root function in MATLAB, sqrt, and take the square root, we get an answer. If, for whatever reason, you happen to misspell the square root function, we get an undefined function or method error. If you input too many numbers, we get a too many input arguments error. If you don't input anything and just have empty parentheses, we get not enough input arguments. And if you were to happen to input an incorrect character, we get an input character is not a, you know, we get an error for that as well. These are just some of the errors you can come across throughout MATLAB um, that, that may appear while you're creating your own functions, and they will help you to fix your functions and make sure they run for all the specific tasks you require.